All right, here we go. We are starting live now. You're all joining in. We'll see more join soon. We're going to turn a lot of heads. We already have. It's going to be amazing. Take a wave, guys. Hi, guys. That's it. That's good. Massive following. Here we go. We are starting the shop along. <laughs> We've already made some friends. This is great. So this is my mask look. I hope you can hear me. We're going on in. Into Asda. Here we are. Here's the crew at the front. Nice one. This is my mask look. Here we go. <laughs> we might have a few following around. Here we go. Here they are already. <laughs> so we've got a few joining. It's good to see you with the shop along. I'd love it if you could tell me if you can hear me. How well can you hear me? So if someone just uh, messages, I can hear you. That'd be great. Put it in the chat. We'll have more joining along soon, I'm sure. But it's great. Here I am in, Has in Asda. Uh, lovely supermarket, one of the best. I've got some fresh trainers this week. How about this? Here they are. Very nice. Shout out to... Uh, brilliant here, very well. Thank you very much. Uh, shout out to Adidas if you're uh, watching. Uh, great trainers that you're making. Uh, they're good for my feet. Here we are in... Asda though, and it is time for you to tell me what you want me to buy. You say it, I buy it. Anything you like. Look, we're in the clothes aisle right now. You can do anything here if you wanted, but preferably ingredients, but it's up to you. So tell me what you want. I will go and buy it, and then I will try and make an incredible creation from it, and I'll post it later. All right, so we'll give people a minute to start chatting and joining so somebody name an ingredient for the first one to start off i might start off myself with a bit of meat a base a base of meat here we go all right anything you want there might be a little bit of lag uh from what i can hear and what you can hear but that's okay don't worry we'll get there we might give it another second for more people to join i'm just walking around oh don't you just love these how good are these man alive love it it's great to see all you guys joining okay we're walking through i must confess i don't know asda that well this is the superstore it's massive here we are we're gonna have lots of people that's all right sorry i nearly hit someone with my trolley already all right <laughs> okay so as i said you say it i buy it that is how it's going. You can say anything you want. But currently we're in the sauces aisle. Love a bit of sauce. Hello, Liam. Hello, every blue ash. Nice to see you. All right, here we go. So as I said, whatever you say, I will get. And then I will try and make a creation from it in a minute. I'm already annoying a lot of people. I can feel it, but that's okay. Here we are. <laughs> Do they do TVs in Asda? Let's have a look. Do they do TVs? I wonder. Here we go. I'm looking for a TV now for you, Liam. Tabasco hot sauce, cream eggs. All right. They're coming in thick and fast. Here we go. Let me see. Any TVs? I'm in this aisle over here. Let's have a look. Cream. I love cream eggs. That is such a good shout. Tabasco hot sauce. I will get that. No problem. Okay, here we are. I'm just seeing clothes, Liam. No TVs. Which is a shame. How about a kettle? I'll get you a kettle. Does that count? No, that's rubbish, isn't it? Something like a TV. Hang on, I'll ask, I'll ask this man. Do you sell TVs? Yeah, entertainment. Entertain <laughs> they do sell TVs. All right, so we're going over to the TV aisle where we will try and find a lovely TV because you said it and I buy it. Entertainment section. I take us over here. All right, lovely to see you guys. I'm currently on my way to get a TV uh, because this is how it's going tonight. You say it, I buy it, and then I try and make a creation from it. Oh, sorry, guys. Just trying to get through. Here we go. Entertainment set. Oh, here we are. Okay. Keep them coming in. What else should I buy? We've got cream eggs. We've got Tabasco sauce. We're getting a TV at the moment. Oh my goodness. Right. Where are they? T, oh, Liam, right, what size would you like, Liam? Here they are. 
TV. I'm gonna, just going to go for this smart HD red. Oh, this Polaroid one looks nice. Let's get that. Oh, no, it's chained. This one isn't chained. I'll get this one. Right. That is a TV in the car already. All right, say what other, what else you'd like me to buy. Nice to see you, Josh, Hannah, Emily, Kieran, you better be coming on soon. I saw your account. Orange hair dye, right? I, I don't have any. <laughs> Orange hair dye for what? <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining us on uh, Shop Along at the moment. You say it, I buy it, and then I make a lovely meal out of it already. We've already got TV. What else? What else should I get? Let me go and get, look, I'm in the veg aisle right now. Any veg? Oh. Nice to see you, Kieran, he's joined us. Right, here we go. Oh no, there's a roadblock. I have to navigate the trolley. Sorry about that. Here we go. Right, lovely to see everybody joining. All the fam, we've already started a bit of a crew here in the shop. Right, Tabasco hot sauce. Strawberries from my youngest, please. Okay, a turnip, right, we've got some, right, this is more like it. We've got a TV, we've got, we're gonna get a turnip now. And we're gonna get some, an ironing board. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a lovely uh, thing to find. Right, this is a turnip, innit? I'll get that. All right, turnip, in we go. Strawberries, let's go and get these strawberries. Okay, an ironing board, we're gonna get that. Kippers, oh, good idea. I haven't had kippers, kippers in years. Hang on, let me put that up. Strawberries, where are these strawberries? I'm in the fruit section right now. It is like a maze in this place, it's huge. Okay. Here we go. Just turning the corner. What else have we got? Kippers. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, strawberries are impossible to find. These are close enough. I'll grab them. All right, lovely. We'll get a couple of them. Lettuce for my LD. <laughs> Kieran, I'm not doing your shopping, man. Oh, here we are. Lovely strawberries. Oh, they're not nice. I love, I love a good strawberry. Man alive, that is great. So at the moment we have a, we have a TV, we have a turnip, we have some strawberries, tomatoes. We're gonna get some kippers now. As I said, you say it, I buy it. That's how we're working tonight. And then I'm gonna make an incredible creation, hopefully. But I mean, obviously I can't cook the TV. My three kids are on this, brilliant. <laughs> what else do they want? Do they want a TV, Kieran? <laughs> All right, let's go to the fish. Place. Where's the fish section? Down here, here we go. All right, anything else guys, keep them coming in. Keep the requests pouring in. We currently have a very poor meal at the moment. Uh, let's see if we've got any kippers. Okay. Excuse me, where are our fine kippers? Yeah, no, that's all right. Right, we'll keep looking. I think they're gonna be over here. A birthday cake. All right, we'll get a birthday cake. No problem. That's a great idea. I love birthday cakes. Pants on your head. <laughs> I take it those aren't the kids this time. Right, here we go. Bit of butter, cheese, meals. Oh. Here we are, right, kippers. We'll get this, we'll get this done. Oh, yes. In the fish aisle, thank you. Is that Paul? Brilliant. Oh, here we are, fish, kippers. Mackerel, 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 sea bass. How about sea bass? Is that good in? Oh, kippers. Oh, beautiful, love it. All right, Colin the caterpillar. <laughs> oh, that's good. Big bag of chili peppers, all right. Let's do this. I need to get some spotty pajamas first. That has been Tom's request, I must do that. Thank you very much. Right, spotty pajamas. I know where they are because I looked for some the other day. Oh, Tom, they're not spotty, but they're checkered. That'll do, right? Here we are. Okay, so that's in the basket. S a samphire. Okay, big bag of chilies, prawns, Maltesers, yes. 
Hang on, there's that. It is congested tonight. I came at seven because I was like, everyone will be inside eating. It'll be quiet, right? It isn't quiet at all. We are in a road jam right now. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, excuse me. Here we are. We've currently got quite a few things. Keep them pouring in. We've got prawns. We've got Maltesers coming in. Sorry. That's all right. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going to get some chilies. That is a great shout over here. Keep them pouring in. We've got a TV. Yum yums. I love yum yums. Oh. Oh, actually, I would prefer chocolate twists. They are amazing. Right, let's get those chilies. All right, nice. Maltesers, tomato soup. That's a good shout, actually. Kieran, that's the first right thing you said so far. So well done. Okay, so let's keep going. A cabbage, I said. So let's get this cabbage here. Lovely. Cabbage is in. Right. Okay, welcome to more who are joining. This is the shop along. You say it, I buy it. And then I create something afterwards. I'm already getting laughter. People are mocking me on here, man. Okay, sweet potatoes, yes. Fruit scones, okay. Tomato soup, here we are, tomato soup. This'll do, this'll do. Beautiful, oh, tomato ketchup, that was there as well. Oh, here we are, hot sauce. Okay, some, I had Tabasco requested. Here we are, Tabasco. Uh, this is what the basket is looking like at the moment. Okay. Lovely pyjamas. Lovely pyjamas. Well done, Tom, requesting that. Tomato soup. Oh, this sounds so weird. This oxtail mentalness. I don't know what that is. Right, here we go. Tomato soup. Where are we at? Over here. Right, that'll do. Tomato soup. Johnny, nice to see you. Nice to see you all. Right, we've got a few things, as I said. Keep them pouring in. You say it, I buy it. Anything you want. We've had a TV, we've had pyjamas, we've had lots of ingredients, and I will make something out of it in a minute. Well, not in a minute, a bit later on. Here we go. Vegan cream cheese. Vegan. Why would you get that? That's like nothing. Right, no, no offense. If you are vegan, that's absolutely fine. Well done. Right, uh, hats off to you. A jar of baby food. <laughs> Lego. Oh, that's true. I don't know if they do Lego. I bet they do do Lego, actually. Mini eggs. Someone said Maltesers. I think mini eggs is close enough, right? Here we are. Love them. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Tofu. Man, I do love tofu, actually. That is a good shout. But... Man, I don't have a clue where it is. I tell you what, I thought tofu was meat for a bit. I was like, this is incredible. It tastes so light and airy, but it isn't. It shocked me. Right, let's go back to the veggie aisle. We'll get some cream cheese, some tofu. What else? Keep them pouring in. Eggs, I think we had eggs on there. So let's get some eggs. Some of these lovely, lovely safe eggs from Safe Chickens. Here we are. Right. We're cracking on. There might be a bit of a lag, so what I say, <laughs> what I say will be a bit of a, a bit uh, ahead from what you, from what you hear. So don't worry about that. We'll get there. Here we are. Man, it is hard work, you know, running up these aisles all the time. Here we are. Cheese. Yes, tofu. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. And we'll go back to the vegetarian place. Hang on, I'll wait for these people to pass. We've got a bit of a bit of a congestion here. All right. Are ah, you all right? You all right? You all right? Don't give a wave. There we are. Lovely. Nice to see you. A wave to all the fans. Here we go. What else have we got? Marmite. Oh, my goodness. That is the worst thing ever. Okay, lovely. Bit of tofu. Here we go. Bit of tofu. Uh... Cream cheese, someone wanted, won it? Okay. Nice to see you guys who are just joining on. This is what the car currently looks like. We've got a TV, pajamas. We've got some nice veg in there that I'm gonna create a lovely meal out of. Uh, oh, okay, here we are. Get some cream cheese. Some ve vegan cream cheese apparently is the, is the way to go. This this is close enough. This is, this'll do. Oh, nice. 
fresh. Yeah, sour cream's the same thing, isn't it? Right. Lovely. Regan. <laughs> Pickle. Deary me. Regan. Thomas, how dare you? It is nothing to, nothing to regain. I've reached my, reached peak wisdom. That's what it is. Okay, what else do we got? We've got some Indian spices over here. Meringues. All right, we'll go get meringues. No problem. Here we go again. Okay. Well, we've just gone past the milk. Anything else? Keep them pouring in. You say it, I buy it, and then I create something afterwards, which is going to be absolutely beautiful and incredible. Don't you worry about that. All right, lovely to see you all. Here we go. We're in the meat aisle. What was I going to get now? Meringues. That's it. Yeah, meringues. I love a bit of meringues, but I also love these. I know no one said them, but I got to get them. Okay. Here we go. Cat food. I was waiting for that, Kieran. I was waiting for that. Here we go. Meringues and cat food. Right, dear me, what am I going to make from this? Whoops. Okay. We've got some stuff down here. We're going to get some meringue. We're going to get some cat food. Because apparently that's a good ghost pepper sauce. I just went past the ghost pepper. I know where that is. Okay, so we've just had Tabasco and now we're having ghost pepper sauce as well. Thank you very much, Bronnie King. What a lovely thing to suggest. Okay, Tabasco is here. Uh, is this ghost pepper sauce? Doesn't look like it. Why are we talking? Yeah, that'll do, won't it? There's nothing else. Okay. Oh yeah, Carolina Reaper. That'll do, right? There's but that's supposed to be hotter. Look, Carolina Reaper. True story. It's very hot. Alright, next carry on. Toothpaste. We can put that in and I'll rustle something amazing up. Here we go. This is incredible. Alright, we're passing a lot of people. People have got pretty used to it now, I think, to be honest. There's no more people staring. Maybe there are. You can see. Yeah, there are. Okay. Let's carry on. Mango, love some mango, yes. Mango, right. Oh. I think somebody asked for, somebody asked for Smarties. Yeah, there we are, we've got them. Okay. Oh, Maltesers, yeah? You right? Yeah, you can, here he is. Let's say hello to all the fans, there we are. Great stuff. We've got all oh, thousands. Thousand. Yeah. What would you like to be? Oh, in fact, Marmite. I suppose put Marmite. Yeah, in. go on. Stuff some Marmite. Oh, I hate it though. No. We've got a TV already. All right. Anything else? Nice to see it. Five loaves and three fishes. That is a lot to ask. Oh, we are down. Possibly my favourite aisle in the world. Okay. I don't know if you can guess what it is before I show it. Okay. Comment below what you think it is by far the greatest aisle that you can ever shop on okay here we go it is the cereal aisle oh i love some cereal i've got to tell you it is sweaty work running up and down as that we don't have long i want to keep it on time for you guys all right oh is this tofu aisle no no okay what else do we want yes cereals well done you got it, nice one. Cereal is the greatest food known to man, fact. In fact, comment below, what's your favorite food? What, kangaroo steak, Johnny, I am not in Australia. Comment below, what's your favorite food or what is your favorite meal? Is it breakfast, lunch or tea? Not dinner, tea, that's the right one. Crunchy nut cornflakes, I can get them for you, no problem. Here we go. Lovely to see you all again. If you're just joining, this is the shop along. You say it, I buy it. Then I may make a beautiful creation from it. What did you ask for? Crunchy nut cornflakes. Is that good enough? It's just crunchy nut. That'll do. Okay, here we go. Carrying on. Whew. Here we go. Thank you. Doing a great job. This is something. It's hard work. I should have like warmed up for this. My legs are killing. Breakfast all the way, yes, Grace, that is so true. Love breakfast, Mentos and Coke. Hey, you said that just as I'm on the Coke aisle, so Kieran, no problem, here we go. 
get some lovely Coca-Cola. Oh, it's the best stuff ever. Oh, it's incredible. Lovely. Earl Grey tea. I, you know what? I don't like Earl Grey tea. It has to be Yorkshire tea all the way. Oh, lunch. Interesting, that is, Joe. Very nice. Croissant and... A croissant and cheese and ham. Oh, is the cheese and ham in the croissant? That is very interesting. Very posh indeed. I do like a croissant. I love chocolate croissant. It's just incredible. The hazelnut chocolate. Oh, just amazing. Yorkshire tea is good. Okay, Yorkshire tea works. That is like the first thing that I actually wanted. All right. We're going to get some Yorkshire tea. No problem. Tea. You said it just as I was there. That is meant to be. That is incredible. Round the corner. Okay, great to see you all. If you're just joining, you know what I was shown recently? I, in fact, it's not here. I was shown by Josh Mason. There's a shout out for you, Josh. The uh, hard water Yorkshire tea. That is something else. Man, that is amazing stuff. Oh, yes, toasted. Very good. Okay, McVitie's. Hard water Yorkshire tea is such a bonus because our water is minging, but it makes it taste like home. It is beautiful. Okay, we've got some crisps. Oh, I've just hit a log gem. I'll have to keep going round. No problem. Just skirting round. There we go. Biscuits is what we're going for now. Keep them coming in, guys. We are filling up this trolley. This is looking absolutely cracking. Crisps, anyone? Anyone want any crisps? Okay, McVitie's. Uh, what did we ask for? McVitie's. Uh... You did go proper, Tony. P Pilchards. What's Pilchards? I might be really stupid by asking that question. Right, McVitie's. You went so specific there, Paul. Right. Here we are. This will do McVitie's dark chocolate digestives. Beautiful. Lotus biscuit spread. Oh, that is such a good shout. I love lotus biscuits. Here we are. A few lotus biscuits will go in. Prunes. Oh, you've got to be joking me. That is minging. I should have known you'd pick obscure things. Lotus biscuits. Here we go. Oh, man. Even hit on a Saturday morning does not prepare me for this. I should have listened to Bronnie's advice. Do more than one bit of hit. There you are. Not dark. <laughs> Chili Heatwave Doritos. That is a great shout. Okay, here we go. Here are some lovely biscuits there. We've got a Maltesers. You asked for Maltesers. There we are. A shoelace. Do you mean an actual shoelace? Hey, I actually got some new shoes recently. I showed people at the beginning. Here we go. Here's the, here's the other guy over there, working hard. He's working hard, he's doing a good job. Got some fresh crepes. I'm not cool enough to say that word, but check them out. Oh, they're good. Shout out to Adidas who's sponsoring this video right now. Okay, lovely. Great to see people joining in. We have nearly filled this car, I tell you what. Let me ask you a question. What do you, what do you buy when you go shopping? You can answer it if you want. What do you put in your basket? What is the thing which goes in? No problem. I wonder, here's a different question. Are you a risky or a familiar shopper, right? The familiar shoppers go around, go straight to the aisle that they know, right? They know where their stuff is. They know where the food is that they want. They know the tomato sauce, which they always get, the pasta they always get, and they love it. And it's not boring. I'm a familiar shopper as well. I'm for, and I like it because I know what I'm gonna get, right? I know exactly what my food's gonna taste like. Uh, and it's gonna be a nice meal at the end of the day. Some people, and you are crazy people, are risky shoppers and they are shoppers. You go around and they get, you know, the most random things. They get the new products. They get the new brands they've never tasted. In fact, I need to catch my breath because I've been running. This is how you know if you're a risky shopper or not, you will go to the cheese aisle and you will get a weird looking smelling cheese you've never eaten before and you'll buy it. And I think you are mental because you, <laughs> that could be poison. I always get the camembert, you know, the one you always know. It is so good, it is amazing. Uh, but I'm not very risky. I do a bit of both though, I think. I'm familiar sometimes, risky at others. You know, I'll get the tomato sauce, I always know, but then I'll splash out and take a risk. 
with a, with a strange crisp choice. I know that's a bit crazy of me, but that's just who I am, you know, take a risk. But I wonder, what do you take risks on? There's one aisle which I do not take risks on ever, and that is the cereal aisle, as I've already told you, because cereal is the greatest food known to man. And if I get it wrong, it has the potential to ruin my morning, right? Little, oh, little so good, love it. But if I go and gamble and take a risk on different cereals, oh, it could ruin my morning, ruin my day, ruin so much for me, it means that much. But I wonder, I think a lot of us are like this when it comes to talking about this weird guy, and it can sound weird, this weird, this strange man called Jesus. Because we look at him, right, and we think, I know my life, right? I know the familiar ways to go. I know what's gonna make me happy. I know what's gonna make me full of joy. I know what's gonna make me sad. And I know how to avoid it and live the life which I've always lived, it's familiar. Why would I take a risk and bring Jesus into my life? Which is what I'm kind of asking tonight. Will you take Jesus off the shelf, like this Red Bull, and bring him into your life? But a lot of us won't because he's new, he's an unknown, it's a risk. And he has the potential to ruin everything, right? But stay with me for a second because we all do bring in new things into our lives. We're all both risky and familiar shoppers. Oh, right, here we go, we're getting into big problems now. We're gonna go down this aisle. We're both risky and familiar shoppers. We'll get the stuff we normally know, but then we'll bring in new people. We'll bring in new products that we've never eaten before. And we all do that. We go for the latest brands. But here's the thing. What do you do when you're going to get something new? You look at the label, right? You look closer at it and you see what's going on. It tells you the ingredients. tells you what it might taste like. I often just look at the pictures because that shows me what it's going to look like and taste like, I think. But a lot of us will do this, right? A lot, and I bet like probably 10 out of 10, we'll go to that little label at the back. In fact, where is it? Here we are. We'll go to this little label here and we'll look at the salt content, the fat content, the sugar content. And if it's green, you will think, man, that is gonna be good for me. For me, personally, that is a warning sign. When I'm getting a new cereal, man, it has to be for the sugar in the red every single time. No problem. But here's the thing, you need to do that with Jesus as well. When I'm talking to you and asking you to bring Jesus into your life, bring him off the shelf, take a closer look. Don't cast him off because of the name, but look closer at who he is and what he says. Look at the label. And when you see who he is, when you take a closer look, you will find that he is high in, uh, that he is high in care, he is high in truth, and he is high in freedom. He's high in care, we all want care. Our families, our friends around us, you go to them because they love you and they care for you and they make you feel like you're at home and you belong, right? And we want that. Jesus says that he's not a boss, but he is an everlasting father. That is like the father of all fathers. And he loves you and he calls you a son and a daughter, not an employee, a daughter and a son. And he loves you as such. He brings care and look, he, brings, he is high in truth. And man, I need the truth because it feels awful when I'm following a lie. I got conned big time in uh, December and I bought from a fake Gymshark place. In fact, fake Gymshark, if you're watching this, you are dead to me. Uh, it was awful. But you need, when you take a closer look at Jesus, you find out that what he's saying is true. And when you find out it's true, then you know his care is that good. And look, you can look into the claims he makes, to the things he says, and you can find out what he's saying is true. And I'll tell you how to do that in just a minute, but he's also high in freedom. When you find out his care is real and it's true, the man, it, it, it properly frees you in life. I've got to be honest here, I have never felt more free than when I brought Jesus into my life. He brought in so much freedom. He freed me from fear, freed me from anxieties, freed me from people's opinions. I'm, I'm right, right now, I'm in a shop with a camera. I look like a right idiot. He freed me from caring. He freed me from holding grudges. Man, that alone freed me from hate. That just lifts my mind completely and it just makes things far more beautiful. Look. Jesus does not ruin your life, but he brings care, he brings truth, and he brings freedom. Take a closer look, bring him off the shelf. I know a lot of you, some of you, will have a Bible on the shelf, it's getting dusty. Dust it off and have a look inside of it and see what he says. Have a look in that label and see what he says. Look, if you're interested in this, we are running, Night and Free Church is running an Alpha course, which is a six week course. Not every day, only Thursday nights. Um, and we are running that, and it is gonna be for an hour on Zoom, and literally we're just gonna get together, watch a short video and chat about what it said. The video will have a big question in life 
and then it will also say what Jesus thinks about this life and what thinks about that question and we'll just chat and decide what, what happens uh, and decide what we think. So if you want to join that, you can. You can go to knighton.org.uk. That's knighton.org.uk. And on the big website, there'll be a massive banner saying Alpha Online and you can click that link and there'll be a little video, which is it's an amazing video. Seriously, go look at it. And you can sign up for that course there. I'll be there. It's completely free. It's just a nice, friendly chat with other people about life. Uh, it's going to be good. So I hope to see you there. Look, we have reached half an hour. I will not take more of your time. No problem. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, I have a cart full of things. Look at this cart, mate. We have a TV. We have some lovely cereal. Oh, good. So good. We have some pajamas, we have a Coke, eggs. Mate, it's gonna be so good. We'll see what we can cook out of this. But thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you all, I hope, soon when lockdown is done. Can't wait. And then I might get ill tomorrow, but it's all right, I won't see you then. Right, see you later, guys. I'm gonna go to the checkout now and buy these things. <laughs> Bye.